Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a fully working conveyor belt in Minecraft using the brand new Arrow Terracotta Block. Now this is absolutely fantastic, so I had to make a video on it. I don't take credit for this, I found this as a custom command on a channel I've subscribed to for a very long time. And the guy's name is called The Red Engineer, and you can check him out in description, but basically, a couple of weeks ago, we had the introduction of a brand new type of block. Terracotta blocks. They look like this, they look like this. However, this specific arrow one, the person who created this, wanted to make it into a fully functional working uh, conveyor belt. And it works with blocks, it works with armor stands, it works for mobs, it even works for you as well. So, I was really impressed with this. I'm currently using the snapshot 17W 06A, which was the first snapshot release for 1.12. And just to show you guys a basic example of how this works is I've got a grass block here, throw it down. It's simply just gonna follow the path of the specific arrows. Now, when you mess around with this for yourself, it will take you a couple of tries to get used to this. It took me a couple of tries to make this specific pattern and it will continue to go around constantly over and over and over again for as long as this world is open. Now again, this is done with custom commands. So it's technically still not modifications. It's all done with specific custom commands. Um, there's commands for players and there's commands for items as well. Again, guys, go and check him out. He'll explain it in great detail how it does work. So let's pick this block back up. Now, I've just made a couple of designs here and the user also created this. This being like a, a running machine, like a, a treadmill. And I thought this was a fantastic idea. Uh, there's just so many cool things that you can do with the terracotta blocks. Now, personally, this one is probably one of my favorites, but I would really have loved to have seen uh, some other things that you could have done with these. Like, a lot of people have made them animated. There's so many different designs with these, so I'm kind of looking forward to what other commands are introduced. Now, this one I've done here, this one you just get onto it and you just go back and forth over and over and over again. Uh, and just to show, you, to show you guys that it does work with specific items, I can throw these in different order as well. Like, I can throw this... I can throw an armor stand on there. In fact, I'm going to pick up the armor stand because you can place them down. You can actually place the armor stands down. And I also want to try the armor stand with items on it. So let's put this on here. And as you can see, the the it works. It's it's so, so fun. I was super impressed. And better yet, guys, it even works with animals as well. So you're going to have a full convey conveyor belt. I'm going to create a conveyor belt with you guys. I'll make a little bit of a big, bigger one and show you how much, how much it works. It's kind of like a, a racing track. But anyway, let's just get these off because otherwise we'll be here forever just messing around with the mobs. Go on, Piggy. You're now, you're now, nope, nope. Oh yeah, it works for players as well. So it even works for me. So I could just stand here over and over, going back and forth and let's just get rid of, oops, I'm breaking absolutely everything. Piggy, please move now. Come on, Piggy. Let's get, nope, he's not going to move. Okay, so we're going to need a sword. Let's grab myself. A diamond sword. I'm sorry, Piggy. I like you, but I need to show these guys how it does work. So that's that's just super impressive. It's it's absolutely f fantastic in how it works. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place down the armor stand in just a second. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to see if I can put some armor in it. I've not tried to put any armor on the conveyor belt. Now, this is all working with like teleportation commands. So basically, guys, it, it although you can't see it because I've disabled chat, it's all working with teleportation commands. Now, if I just quickly do a line over here um, with this specific block, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. I'm just gonna go back and forth, and then I'm gonna enable chat and show you exactly what I'm talking about when it means teleportation commands. So I disabled it because I didn't want the whole video to be filled with spam, so if I go to chat, uh, put show and go to done. You guys are gonna start to notice something here. As you guys can see, it's done with teleportation commands, which, it's still really impressive, so that's why I disabled it. Otherwise, you guys would see tons and tons of commands popping up, uh, which really isn't what you want to do. It's just good for getting things from one, one side to the other. So this, 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 all of these, this, this, and even piggies as well. And even any type of animal. And last but not least, even you. You can go from A to B just by standing on this specific block. Now, you would have noticed with this one over here that it does have different directions. So it's, it took me a little bit of a while to get used to it because, for example... When I come down here, I would stop here, and then I'd have to try and break the block and figure out which way I wanted to be. So, uh, when it comes to design, this is something that you're gonna mess around with. So let's just let's just do a, a little bit of a, a mess around here. Let's just say, let's just make it really, really random. I'll make it a little bit more difficult compared to what I did over there, um, just to show you exactly how this works. So again, it would take you a couple of tries to get used to this, pure and simply, just for the um, 
the arrow location and which way you need to face it. So let's just say we wanted to start here. So we need to place down a couple of these. However, this one needs to be the turn. So this one needs to be the turn. I'm going to do the whole thing and I'm going to see if I've got it complete the first time round. Because for me, it took me a couple of tries to get this right in the other design that I've showed you. So let's just continue like this. Then I need to turn. And then this one should be like this. And I think it's like this. This way. I think this is about right. <laughs> I'm hoping so. And then we're just going to go all the way around. So if you guys want to just mess around with, I don't know. It's like, it kind of reminds me like Duck, Duck, Goose. And I think this one needs to be this way. I think. And then this one needs to be this way and this way. Uh, but let's just start here. Let's just see how we get on here. Let's see if we did this correct. And I think we did do this correct. Yes, it looks, it looks like we've done this correct the first time. So basically, the corners need to be facing the way you want them to go. Uh, but yeah, they actually worked the first time. And let's try ourselves with the armor stands. So let's just get ourselves one, which just goes a bit further. Two. Three. Four. And I'll leave it as four. And let's just get ourselves some random items. So for example, let's just get ourselves a stack of these. Let me get myself a stack of dirt going round. I'm just throwing it in here, pure and simply for the fun. Let's grab ourselves some even more terracotta blocks. And you can actually see that the uh, the piggy's off riding around over there as well. I'm going to get myself a little bit of armor. So let's get ourselves some uh, diamond armor, of course. Booties, leggings, this, and this. Because I want to see if you can put them on. Because I've not really tried this. And actually, you can. You can actually put these on the armor stands. So they're just going to, like this one. They're just going to roll around. So I'm going to put this one on here. I'm also going to do the same again. I think I picked up some blocks, but that's not to worry. And I think I need to put some booties on this one because they're not on there. As you guys can see, we've got a fully fully working one. I'm going to take... I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that at all, but I've, I've broken it. Let's just put this back. Oops. Nope. Nope. I'm breaking everything now. There we go. Let's put this back down here. And I'm going to end up putting some like different colors on there as well. But... Let's grab ourselves a couple of um, animals. Let's see what would be fun to see ride the conveyor belt. Gas isn't going to work. Um, I wonder what happens with the bat, actually, because it's a flying animal. No, the bat doesn't work, which is kind of understandable. Um, cows, we'll try some cows. Creepers, creepers will be fun. Let's grab ourselves some creepers. Where's the creeper spawn egg? It's the green one, Echo. Where am I looking at it? There it is. All right, let's get ourselves some cows down. Let's get ourselves some creepers down. Oh, it's because I've changed the game mode. Let's try this this one. Back to game. Let's try and put ourselves some of these down. So yeah, they're just going to ride it. And they can't get off it. So they're constantly just going to be riding. It's it's so much fun. I was just really impressed with this because the terracotta blocks, to me, they're okay. But I wouldn't really use the terracotta blocks for anything at all. Other than if this was a thing in Minecraft. Um, and actually, let's get ourselves a slime. A slime one. Let's see what happens when we put a slime on there. Since we've got plenty of slimes on here, let's put a slime on there. And yeah, we've got a little squishy riding riding the rails, as I'm going to call it. But yeah, I was really impressed with this. I wanted to share it with you. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, you can check the link down below. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time.